If I talked about the music I love, I wouldn't be talking about my generation. I can go dancing on the ceiling and lose that love and feeling quicker than grease lightning in a teenage wasteland. I like listening to all types of music from classical Chopin to R&B superstar Stevie Wonder to my man Billy Joel. You two, Fleetwood Mac, The Killers, Arctic Monkeys, Daft Punk, Chubby Checker, and Hall and Oates. The list is honestly endless. Have you ever seen the rain? I hear there is a prince who says it's purple. Music frees my soul. I get lost in the music and drift away. I listen to music as mu much as I do pretty much everything, including homework and walking down the street. I love Duke Ellington, John Coltrane, and Sinatra, and I listen to jazz, and yes, I really like Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. These are words written by someone who writes these blog pieces for the Hanover Theater in Worcester, who lives in Hopkinton and happens to be an eighth grade student here in town. His name is Owen Fitzpatrick, and I invite you to join me for a conversation with him about his writing and about his life. Hi, Owen. Thank you for having me here in your home, here in Hopkinton. Uh, on this afternoon in December, uh, we're surrounded by <coughs> books in here, and I think that is part of your story we're going to get to. Uh, can you, can we start by hearing your connection to Hopkinton as we're talking about you as a neighbor? Uh, how long have you been here? Um, I want to say I've been here for eight, six, six to eight years. Yes. Now I moved here from Quincy outside mm -hmm. of, no, not Quincy. Yeah. Quincy from outside of Boston. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a nice small town. It's got good schools and it's just, it's a nice place to be, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, Hopkinton, uh, from what I understand, is fortunate to have you here you. Uh, as a, from what I understand, a creative force and contributor already. And one of the things that I learned from you was by reading some of the local newspapers and hearing about the, some of the awards you have received for your creative writing. And when I asked you before we started interviewing about your awards, you replied humbly that you're not sure of how many you have, um, but uh, uh, that you have received a few. And that's part of your life story already, getting involved in what you love for writing. And I asked you if you would um, share a sample of your writing. Yes, I have that right here. Ode to the Backseat of the Car by Owen Fitzpatrick Grimy and lovely the backseat of the car You keep my memories safe without a single complaint Like a grape that's now a raisin And the cloudy lid of a Pringles can A uh, jar, ah, whatever mm -hmm. Stale cereal, lollipop stick And the crinkled, crusty wrapper of a candy bar With your help I rediscover the most amazing things Like a blue Power Ranger A tastefully dented matchbox car Overdue library book, chewed pencils and dried up pens, sitting back there all my treasures are never really far. But I've grown several shoe sizes, no longer aggravate my brother and push, shove and pinch before I retreat back to my side. Oh backseat, someday I, soon I will leave you. I know I'll have to say goodbye. My mom would say, come sit in the front and on my hopeful wings I will fly. I'm sitting in the front, I've arrived, winning, but am I? Saying yes would be a lie. I'm growing up. Mm, wow. Of course, that is not at all <laughs> the how dirty my no car no is. of no, course no. I don't chew pencils. <laughs> Overdue library books. Good heavens, no. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, thank you for reading that back in time um, when you wrote that, and kind of a reflection of, of a lot of things, of, not only about what might be in the backseat of someone's car, but. Uh, of a sense of humor, a sense of perspective about life and change as well. Um, so uh, thank you for sharing that. And, and that was a poem that you received an award for? Um, yes, mm -hmm. I got, we entered a poem and a play that I also made when I was in seventh. Mm -hmm. The play was about how the wolf and the three little pigs was actually in the in the wrong spot 
at the wrong time in the wrong place. And uh, I guess maybe that's something for something else. But but those both won in the same competition, second and third place. Hmm. I have only three entries. Wow. I mean, uh -huh. How and about this is that? a national thing, so I get. I guess, I guess it's something cool. Oh, <laughs> it's a great honor! Congratulations! It is very Thank you. cool, and uh, you, uh, the, your um, awards were connected with uh, being um, submitted to the Library of Congress and. I think I saw a picture of you with a representative, state representative, Carolyn oh. Dykema, as oh, well yes. for that. And um, all kinds of yeah. uh, exciting things are happening already. And you are, at this time, in not in college. You are in what grade? Uh, eighth grade middle in school. Eighth grade right now at the middle school. So quite impressive. Um, and the fact of the matter is you like creative writing you care yeah. about it very much um creative writing in my opinion i mean take improvisation from a drama piece or a play you're just thinking of something on the spot you're being yourself you're trying your best to just put it into the story making your own you're making up your own ideas on the spot that in my opinion is one of the purest forms of of creative anything of that type. Creative writing is another thing. It, you can express so much in creative writing. Actually, I hate like essays. I hate prompts, writing prompts, mm -hmm. because you, you just got to be enclosed. You have to like, you, you have to, you have to put your, whatever you're doing in like a thesis. This is because, because this is this and this. Why? Because this and this. It's just, Mm -hmm. It's just annoying sometimes, you know, because you thing. just want to say so many things. Mm -hmm. I, See, mean, I mean, I feel like authors and it just have they just have like such create they just just have such freedom to do what they can do. Mm -hmm. So freedom is important. To freedom you is as really a important in creative, yeah. uh -huh. creative anything. How did you get started as a writer? I got started as a writer when I entered the. When I entered the um, marathon essay contest mm -hmm. in sixth grade. Sixth grade, okay. not that long ago. No. And, and you received an award for it. Yes, mm -hmm. I have that right here. Mm -hmm. If I, do you want me to bring it over for you? Uh, sure. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. And so. That's beautiful. It says, it says 2017 marathon essay competition winner, Consulate of General Greece, Alpha Omega Consul. Mm -hmm. their, their Greek American ambassador was there. The uh, mayor of Athens was there. The Greek oh. consulate was also there. Mm -hmm. And it was just, it was my first time winning anything mm -hmm. writing. Mm -hmm. And I just, I just felt, I just felt, wow, mm -hmm. this is, I just felt, this is great. Mm -hmm. Made an impact. This is on great. You. Um, another thing, this is a funny story. When they were, we were, me and the other winners, because I wasn't the only one, there was other people from other towns mm -hmm. that won. We were the other winners, and we were all sitting in, like, a row of seats. There was, like, four in the first row and four in the second row. There was eight winners. And they were calling down the names, like, uh, Jimmy, blue, blah, 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 blah. And then we got Lily, Hibby, D, Lily, Poo. And then we got, and then they skipped over me and went <laughs> to the person right here. Oh, no. I thought there was a mistake. They may go next, but, no, they went to the person in the back row. And oh. so... I said, you know what, no. I got up and went over. I said, hi, I'm Owen Fitzpatrick. You skipped me. The person checked his papers um, and then just introduced the word to me, shook, the hair, shook some hands, took a pictures, and I sat back down, and I look at the, um, there, was a, there was this and the certificate. Mm -hmm. And so when I looked in, looked in the certificate, it said, Owen it's something because they spelled my name wrong. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my mom over the phone said um, spell it the Greek way. I guess. <laughs> I guess uh -huh. there was a misunderstanding. <laughs> yeah, that sometimes that happens. There was a Q and a 
and twosies. I mean, there's, there's one. It was, uh-huh. uh, it was just something, uh, something funny. Yes, and uh, something funny of human error, but at the same time, also a great honor. Yeah, it raised my spirits a lot. Yeah, yeah. And so that was the beginning, right? It was the beginning. Not that long ago, and you just started tearing away at writing from there yep. and making impressive <coughs> Uh, achievements because as you mentioned you're writing uh, as you submit for the blog at Hanover Theater in Worcester with all of their performances that are going on how, uh, how did you get that job um so after the marathon essay contest let me just put this yeah. back right here after the S marathon essay contest I went on to write a little more and I went on to enter the competition for the uh, Library of Congress mm -hmm. um, writing competition where you would have to write a letter to the to the author of a book and mm -hmm. I wrote to Charles Dickens yeah. about the book A Christmas Carol mm -hmm. and so I felt the Christmas Carol was and you have to in, in the prompt you have to relate why, how a certain character in the book is related to you and I Related to Scrooge, um, about how I was enclosed about everything. I didn't believe in so many things. I, I was sort of off balanced. My second and third, fourth, fifth grade years were not my best because um, I have uh, ADHD and I was sort of I didn't have full control over it that then. I acted weird, acted strange, and I wasn't really as my good self as I could have been. Mm -hmm. I could have had a lot more friends there, and it sort of tarnished my reputation there a mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. But over time, I got some new friends. I acted way better. I became more mature, and I guess this is my growth from Scrooge mm -hmm. into a nicer person. And so the Hanover Theater caught word of this, found out that I lived in Hopkinton, and they came over and said, Hey, you, you, you are an incredible writer. You are surely something of talent. We feel like we should, we, we should, if, if we feel like maybe you can like write blogs for us mm -hmm. about our place. And I was like, yes. Quite an honor. <laughs> I mean, I get to go to the plays and I get to write about oh, them. And it was you get great. to go to the plays too. I mean, yes. yeah. I mean, wow. It's, and they and recruited they, and they, you. They recruited me. It was great. <laughs> oh, that... And then I've seen so many, I've seen so many pieces mm -hmm. and wrote mm -hmm. about so many amazing things. And it's just, it was wonderful. Yeah. It was just simply wonderful. That's wow. all I have to say. Yes. Well, congratulations. And I've read a number of your submissions uh, to those blogs. Thank and you. And I uh, am uh, blown away by them. Thank and you. Uh, not only are they uh, very, mm, very interesting and informative review of performances, uh, or preview of what is to come, but there's this life uh, philosophy uh, that you weave into it uh, as well, so that you get people thinking not only about this particular performance uh, of art, but also how it relates and might teach us about life in some way. How did you get that idea uh, to do that? Where does that come from? Where did it come from? Yeah. So, I believe it came from. <clears throat> it came from so many things. Hmm. It came from me, my parents. It came from my brother. It came from my family. It came from my like dogs and how they acted. It came from mm -hmm. my friends mm -hmm. and my my teachers in schools. It came from just going on a bike ride outside. Looking around, just I learned so many things from them. I've learned so many things from other things. Mm -hmm. I guess it just just it just, life, it just builds right? up, and then I just mm -hmm. release it in my own writing. Mm -hmm. Well, it that's just, a great answer. Thank you. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, um, let let's move on. But I, I I would love to talk more about writing, um, and I recommend if we can send a link to your blog so other people can read. That is them absolutely too. fine. Yeah. Um, but how about other hobbies and interests? You go to school yeah. uh, full time full and time. you write in some of your spare time. Uh, and what else are you involved with these days? I play a number of sports. I play rec basketball. 
I ski up north in New Hampshire where I have my grandparents have a house there and so we go there visit them and do a little skiing on the mountain nearby. Mm -hmm. um, I also do tennis with a couple friends uh, every Monday and that's fun too. It connects with my friends and we just have a little fun time. Mm -hmm. Otherwise I'm just a normal teenage <laughs> boy. Go downstairs, play video games with my friends on the mm -hmm. Xbox. Mm -hmm. I maybe read a book here and now and then, mm -hmm. watch yeah. some television with my dad or something. Mm -hmm. We we'll see if there's any football on or, so, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Although, and I just I'm, and maybe like write a little bit. Yeah. Well, just draw an idea about something down on a mm -hmm. paper or something. Yeah well that's uh, quite a full uh, and varied life. Uh, how about your connection with nature? With nature? Um, I feel like I'm connected most with nature when... <coughs> Sorry. I feel like I'm connected most with nature when I go on bike rides. Mm -hmm. I started going on bike rides when I was in sixth grade because in sixth grade I would have more time. I, I, it was still more work but then again now again when I'm done with my homework nothing due. I would just go on on a bike ride. I would go down in, I always stay in this neighborhood, mm. but recently I found a little spot that's down where there's, it's like a dent, one of those like dead neighborhoods that just have like a big loop and it turns back up the street. Mm -hmm. I found a little road that goes through there and it goes through this path. It's like a little path that has a, like a lake, a little pond wow. next to it. Uh -huh. And then it leads into a street past that that I sometimes go through. And there's tons of trees. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I like to put my bike down next to that pond. There's a few rocks. And I just sit there. Mm -hmm. I sit, look at the pond, and I just, I just think about things. Well, I ask because I know that uh, being out in nature is important to many uh, famous authors out there. Uh, beginning early in life and the fact that you sit down, uh, just as you described, uh, shows that you have that in you as well and often that can be part of our inspiration as writers. Uh, and it's very um, sophisticated uh, ex uh, experience that we have that is often taken for granted and not emphasized as an important part of being uh, a, a writer and thinker of life. Um, you are interested in music also. Yes. We didn't talk about um, you have done reviews for music, I see, in Hanover Theater, but uh, you also are composing music, right? Um, I wouldn't say composing music because I, I also like to play guitar. I go to the Hopkinson Center of the Arts mm -hmm. every Friday, and I practice with my, um, my teacher, Jack, and we just sort of like do a few chords, uh, play a few chords, drum, maybe do a song or something. Mm -hmm. And maybe we would just make something up. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say I'm composing music, though. Uh, I guess I meant more for garage band. Is... Oh, garage band. That's yeah. just something I like to fiddle around with. Uh -huh. I learned garage band about when I was, oh, man, that was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. When we first got the Mac over in there, mm -hmm. um, I found that garage band was one of the applications that came with it. And so mm -hmm. I... Found I, I just went on, found some YouTube videos that explain what you can do on it, fill around with it. Mm -hmm. um, I guess maybe I just make something. I think it was cool to take a uh, take like a video of it on my phone and just keep it there, mm -hmm. and then it would just stay there. Mm -hmm. Well, um, that even adds to the diversity of uh, different interests and talents that you have. Um, so uh, I will be staying tuned, see if you might be <laughs> writing songs, perhaps, and performing them. Who knows, right? I mean, you you uh, never know. I could be a DJ growing <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, do you have any inclinations, what you uh, think you are I'm interested gonna, in? Uh, what, I don't really... I'm not going to say, what do you want to <laughs> Oh, I know. I guess, I guess maybe that's the, the gist of what you're saying, but... Well... I guess... I don't honestly know. Mm, yeah, and that's okay. I haven't really given it that much thought because mm -hmm. I just want to live what I am living right now. I am right, fine at the beautiful. moment. <laughs> uh, I, I guess I should think about it more when I get into high school because uh -huh, yeah. you know I gotta I gotta go to somewhere. Yeah, I gotta yeah. go do something. Uh -huh. Well, we have that on film. What you just said about just being who I am. And some people that takes a lifetime to be able to say and acknowledge because 
Uh, I was just at a meeting last night where people were talking about <laughs> who they're supposed to be, like a doctor or whatever, and what the realization for people 50, 60, 70 there was that you are actually the person who you are aside from that title uh, in life, and appreciating that is what is important. So you already said it. Thank you. <laughs> um, Put that off the list. <laughs> uh, what about yourself, what would you say that people might not know about you that you don't mind sharing from your life or any interesting uh, milestones from your life uh, you'd be willing to share with us? We know about you uh, you being an author. That's very prominent right now. And um, I don't have favorites. Mm -hmm. I don't have favorite anythings. Mm -hmm. I don't have favorite best friend. I don't have a best friend. I, I just I just think of my friends as good friends because mm -hmm. they're all they're all nice to me. They're all we're all nice to each other. We're all cool. And then I don't have a I don't have a favorite t artist or I, I don't have a favorite song. Mm -hmm. I could go on Spotify and show you playlists that have like hundreds of songs from hundreds of uh, from hundreds of different artists. Mm -hmm. I don't have a favorite color. I don't have a favorite thing to do. I don't have like a favorite thing to do with my friends. Mm -hmm. I, I just uh, I just like so many things. Mm -hmm. I only have likes and dislikes and that's it. Mm -hmm. I don't have a thing that I hate least either. Like a favorite least thing. It's just nothing. Mm -hmm. I uh -huh. just I just like what I like and yeah. don't like what I don't like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's clear that uh, there is a thread of creativity in that you are not a fan mm -hmm. of the box for things, uh, putting things in categories or uh, getting writing prompts um, that you like to um, focus on freedom when you're going to be a creative self and it helps you to come up with these impressive philosophies about life. Yeah. Um, and speaking of that, would you say, is there anything in particular about a, for you, a guiding philosophy in your life? Um, that you have, you you keep close. And you have given us a few here today already, but I guess you could say my favorite philosophy. I I guess I have a, 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 a maybe more of a motto. I mean, a philosophy that's that that might be a little too much, but a mm. motto is okay. Mm, I take this one from Bill Belichick. Just do your job. Mm. Do what you have mm -hmm. to do. I mean, you don't have to just don't think about it and keep saying to to. to mm. Do I have to do this too? Mm -hmm. Do I also have to do that? No. Just do that and then ask questions later. Mm -hmm. Did you have to do that? Do you want to do that? It's like, it's not important. Mm -hmm. So watch that judging mind that sometimes interferes. I'm going to be honest. I have a judging mind because mm -hmm. I, ha I am extremely, I'm, I'm extremely nervous about everything. I'm anxious. Mm -hmm. I, I have anxiety. You're I, not alone. No, people I, I always think about something. When I get something done, like, I just feel, ah, what if I forgot something? Mm -hmm. It's always that lingering thing in the back of your head, mm -hmm. just sitting right there. I, I tend to try, I tend to usually do ignore it. Mm -hmm. What gives you peace, then? Peace is summer vacation where you don't have to do anything at all. Mm -hmm. Like, vacations or, like, like weeks where you don't have any homework, nothing, nothing far ahead. I mean, maybe there is something far ahead, but you can worry about it like, like three days before, where you can get it done before. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's just done once again of, of time. Freedom of time, freedom of anything. Is Being. Hmm. Okay, um, and as a member of our next generation, do you have a wish for our world moving forward? as you pay attention to what's going on with us as a society. I want to stay. I want to say that I am not at all a political person. Mm -hmm. I will never be a political person because they, people can just argue about things for hours mm -hmm. and not have a single thing that's good to say. Mm -hmm. I don't like that at all about anything. I just, I just hate things like that. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to say, just get over some things and then just be kind to each other. Be nice to each other and just, I mean, you're probably arguing about something that doesn't even matter right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
in just, the big picture. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, thank you for that. And thank you for your interview. We're almost out of time. And I wonder oh. if we could end by your reading a little bit of yes, your I've, recent blog. I have a recent blog right here, actually. So this was a recent blog by from the Hanover Theater. It, it was on Buddy the Elf, a play that... Um, the, it was about Buddy the Elf from the play Elf and the movie Elf that a was comedy? recently. Oh yes, it's yeah, very it was funny. Very funny. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I could read a little bit of it. Do you want me to read? I could read like the opening part of it. All right. We'll yeah. see. Yeah, I'll just read the opening part. <clears throat> Hi, Aunt Mildred. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, I'm okay. School is good. What's new? Oh, I'm writing a blog for the Hanover Theater about the Broadway show Elf, the musical. My blog, uh, blog for the show is titled Life Lessons for Buddy Elf. She laughed at me. A human raised by Santa's elves goes to New York in search of his family while also getting into some pretty wacky situations. Sounds like something for kids, huh? right? But the show also contains life stuff that every adult can use, even my Aunt Mildred. Mm -hmm. And it goes on about saying that you can be yourself because... When Buddy goes to New York, he, he, he wants, he's being himself. He wants to be who he is. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't know everything about New York. And Santa certainly does not warn him about the friendly people in New York. Mm -hmm. And so he, he shows that he needs to be himself. So he wants people to like him and that people have to understand that. Mm -hmm. And lesson two is spreading cheer. You got to be happy. Always happy. I mean, I mean, happiness and Feelings are contagious. If you're sitting on a, like a bus and you're smiling bright and you're laughing, people also start to smile at talk to you and everyone's going to be happy. Everyone's going to be laughing. It's all going to be great. If you're acting sad, if you're frowning, if you're just, just be acting mopey, people get uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. They'll look at you weird and then start to act. And then the little bus ride might become a little less, uh, mm -hmm. well, less happy. Less Something that weird. small can make a difference. And... I see we're out of time, but I'm so glad we got a little oh, bit of a right. sample of your oh, that's reading. That's a sample. In. You can go see it maybe at the Hanover Theater the website, which... We I, can cover. Yeah. We can show that. Uh, and I want to thank you so much for your time and the interview today. And I look forward to reading you. you more on that Hanover Theater blog and hopefully your book someday, too. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, my pleasure.